For the cheapest, safest, fastest coins, Madden, 2K, or FIFA, go to buymmog.com. Use code Q. You get your discount. Link is down below. Stop gambling your money on packs. Get the coins you want. You can get coins, or now you can even buy players. We can trade the players over to you. You can quick sell the card, or you can just buy a regular card and keep the card. So stop gambling. Trading players is 100% banned free. All right, guys, top 10 wide receivers right now, short and to the point. Thank you for the support. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new, let's get to the video. And number 10 is going to be Plaxico Burris. Brand new card. He's huge at 6'5". His build is big on the game. 95 speed, 94 excel. That's pretty fast. And he could jump. But that's kind of where it ends with this card because he doesn't get any good abilities what is bulldozer and red zone threat i don't know but don't ever waste ap on that bulldozer you don't need it i truck people with calvin on my team right now i have calvin i run people over corners and safeties right now so this card does not get good ap's but he's big and fast if you need a jump ball guy that runs past people and jumps over people Go get him. He's good at that. That is going to be number 10, Plexico Burris. And yes, he is pricey at 500K. I just can't recommend him. His route running is good because of his speed. Uh, so he can do that. He can jump. He can. And look, his trucking is not even like the highest. But you can still truck with him. He does get some good chems. And juke and spinning is fine. I would just not invest my coins in it because there's better options as we get to number nine number nine marvin harrison yes marvin harrison is not that big but he is fast and he gets open uh, he makes really good cuts out of routes and he doesn't get too many good abilities but mid and elite is zero ap if some of you want to use that, I'm just giving you a heads up. He does have that. Um, it's not very popular. But short and for 1 AP is not horrible. We like to see it at 0. And I'm going to tell you something. This card, he's pretty fast. So he makes sharp cuts. He's not the biggest guy. But you don't need, like, five jump ball guys. You need a jump ball guy, a route runner, an underneath guy. If you get this guy the ball, because you can spin... He can make people miss and make things happen after the catch. So keeping an ideal in your head, I need somebody besides a big jump ball guy. You can get Marvin. The problem with Marvin, he's an LTD. He's going to be super rare. So he's going to be overpriced, but he's still really good. Just don't expect this price to go down anytime soon. Not because he's going to hold value because he's so good, but because he's going to be so rare, right? But... If you're a Colts fan, or if you need him for a Legends Ding Ding, he's going to be worth it. Uh, he's fast, and he's reliable. I will say catching and trapping this card actually surprises a little bit. He hangs on to a lot more. He made some glitchy catches for me. If you go look at my channel, you'll find him. And, um, yeah, that's it. Number nine, Marvin Harrison. Number eight is Steve Smith. This guy's 94 speed, 94. So not as fast as Marvin, but way better abilities. Now, short and elite, if you don't know, that's how you beat man coverage. They press you or not. He's getting open. It's very, very valuable there to have that at zero. And his price is not very bad. His speed is great. I'm going to tell you something about this card. He plays better than you think. He actually breaks tackles, and he's 5'9". You think he's 5'9", under 200 pounds. He's not. He does. He does. Okay? Let me tell you something. His break tackle here, it's real. He breaks tackles. Obviously, you can't truck with him, but Duke is spinning does feel good. So, in traffic, guys, remember he is reliable. He is good. He is fun. And Steve Smith is one of the legends of the league. I mean, he's amazing. I love watching him. Um, yeah, go get Steve Smith if you just need somebody that's super cheap with that ability. Number seven, Mike Evans. This guy is huge at 6'5, not the fastest. But if you need a jump ball guy or just across the middle guy, his catch in traffic is above a 95, and he's huge. So throwing like high balls across the middle, this guy is a pretty good ideal. His trucking, it's better than that. You can run people over them. I have. Um, 
it's really in the 90s. Don't worry about that. Um, his change of direction is true, though. You can't really zigzag with this guy. He feels like a huge tight end, <laughs> like like Pete, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, he, he's not shifty, okay? It's going to be a big jump ball guy that's not shifty, but his price isn't too bad, and his discounts are not the best. So if you need a big guy across the middle, I'd go get Mike Evans. He's pretty good at that. He's 6'5", and he's fun, but just don't expect much after the catch. Another Mike at number six, Mike Williams. A lot of, I have a lot of people in my comments that's really a big fan of him. 94 speed at 6'4". He, his body build just seems a little bit bigger than that. He's pretty big. His juke and spinning is great after the catch. You can actually zigzag with him just fine. Mike Williams is going to be better than Mike Evans. Uh, I use both of them. As far as like jump ball reliability, he is up there. Uh, his price is pretty pricey. He is going to be LTD, so his price eventually will fall down to 400k. But since he sells for 350k, it's not going to go below that. Okay, even like months and months from now. So this card, when the, I'm going to tell you why I like Mike Evans a little bit better. Mike Evans falls forward and breaks tackles better than the other cards I just mentioned. This guy fights after the catch. So forget the juke and spinning. Yes, he has that, but the falling forward and the break tackles is what he's good at. So go get Mike Evans and give him a chance. I mean Mike Williams. Sorry, there's too many Mikes around here. This guy's not a Mike. His name is CD Lamb, and he's next. 95 speed. He's super fast, 6'2". He looks like 6'2". He doesn't have a very big build. Uh, Juke and spinning feels great. Cannot truck with him. But, once again, short and elite. Right? So, basically, he's a barely faster Steve Smith. Barely upgraded. And this guy gets so good off the ball. One thing I noticed about this card, people were pressing me, and this guy gets off the ball so easy. And he runs right past them. So, if you press this card, you're, you're going to allow a touchdown. He's that good. Um, I, you can throw a screen pass to this guy because he's so shifty. He's probably the shiftiest guy I've used all year. Um, for some reason, this guy is just amazing. I mean, he does have 95 COD, but it, it feels crazy. Um, he's very expensive, but human joystick, I gotta say it, it's trash. Don't use human joystick. If you have good COD, please don't waste your AP on that. You're just wasting your AP for nothing. And yeah, that is CD Lamb. I tell you who I like better than C.D. Lamb. Try Debo. Debo is slower in speed, but I'm telling you, Debo is a beast. This guy breaks tackles. C.D. Lamb doesn't really break too many tackles. C. Debo, guys. Debo. He's 5'11". It doesn't matter. This card plays way better. He's an upgraded C.D. and an upgraded Steve Smith. So it would go Debo, C.D., Steve Smith in the next category of like smaller guys running routes for you. Uh, just because this guy's better than you think. His break tackle is a 94 and it feels like it, okay? His trucking is not reliable even though it's an 89. But this guy catching across the middle and his button battles. The button battles he got for me for breaking tackles was just stupid, okay? If you use, if you use I keep saying CD Lamb. If you use Debo, you know. You know how good this card is. And he's 380. If you can for 380, I'd say he's worth it. Um, short out elite for zero AP. So he's got something there, right? So you guys let me know if you guys use this card because I love this card. And that is Debo. He's good. Number three came out a long time ago and he's still really good. And it is DK Metcalf. His speed is a 94. He's 6'3. He looks way bigger than 6'3. His catching in traffic, and guess what? You truck people with him. Like I said before in this video, you can run people over with him. After the catch, I love this card. This card is so good. And run off elites, zero AP, which is cool. It's not the best. So he didn't have the best discounts, but I'm talking about like just throw the ball up, let him go get it. After the catch, this card is amazing. He's big, he's fast. Go get him. I love DK Metcalf. He's number three. Who's number two? Number two is Herman Moore. Yes. 95 speed on a 6'4 guy. This guy is an upgraded Randy Moss. Uh, Randy Moss did not make the list today. He almost did. He's an honorable mention for sure. 
but mid out elite or zero AP some of you know what route that helps and if you know then you know it's important uh, Duke and spinning this card's great trucking is amazing break tackle everything after the catch is better the next wide receiver is only just more reliable for me uh, but he is fast and this card is super good um, his price is dropping uh, by the way, the market is about to go down more as soon as they release those um, the next bundle coming out for New Year. So just stay patient by then. Uh, yeah, I love this card, but he's not the best. Who is the best? The best wide receiver in Madden is Calvin Johnson. I use this card now, every day, all day. This card is amazing. His spin is way better than 84. His trucking is a great. And... You guessed it, deep and elite for zero AP. So this guy makes the catches. Okay, if you throw the ball in traffic, he grabs it, falls down with it. That's why I like this card the best. He's the most reliable in traffic. He's the most reliable to break tackles. He's the most reliable to get like little button battles. Yeah, he's getting those. So some people just bounce off of him. This guy's really, really good. Go get Calvin Johnson. If you need one wide receiver to spam the ball to, go get Calvin Johnson. That's going to do it for me. That's my list. Let me know. What's your list? Who did you? Who do you think is number one? Who do you use the most? This is who I use. I use Calvin. I spam it to him. It's easy. Easy touchdowns. Be kind for no reason. Help each other. Encourage each other. Go to buymmog.com. Use code CUTE. Buy the players you want. Buy the coins you want. Have the fun you want. I'll see you in the next video.